Hi and welcome. So in this question, we are going to see about the interview preparation marathon contest three strings question branches of bytecode. Okay, so let's go to the question and let's read it out and understand what the question is trying to say. Okay, so it is given that bytecode has branches of n places at n places. Okay, and n is even. The company management want to produce uh, two columns. The chart should contain exactly n by two lines, exactly n by two lines of strictly equal lengths. Okay, n by two lines of strictly equal lengths. And we have the names of n places. So bytecode has branches of n places, and n is even. Okay, and we have the names of all those n places. Fine. We need to create uh, the chart which contains exactly n by two lines. Fine. Of strictly equal lengths. So the string lengths should be strictly equal. Each of which contains exactly two names and exactly one separator character between them. And the separator character is given by H. So if we just see an example to understand it, it is nothing but we have n equals to four. Okay, the names of the places are D, C, C, J, V, and E, and the separator character we have is five. Okay, so we need to print exactly n by two lines. So n by two is nothing but four by two. 4 by 2 is nothing but 2, so we need to print exactly two lines. Each line will contain two city names. Okay, each line will contain the exactly two names and exactly one separator character between them. And the sep and the name should be like that that uh, they have equal lengths. For example, we can print D 5 C C. Okay, two city names with a separator character between them, like this. Or we can print D five J V or D five E. Okay, but if you print D five E, the another one should also be of three length only. Okay, this is just a one case. Then we have C C five D, C C five J V, C C five E. There are so many possibilities. Uh, J V five D, J V five C C, J V five E. And for E also we have E five D, E five C C, E five J V, and mm, done. Okay, so these are all the possibilities of where we have one city name. Okay, exactly one city name, another city name, and a separate character between them in every one city name, city name, and a separate character between them. Okay, now we need to print two lines. Fine, and those two lines should be exactly have equal lengths, equal string lengths. For example, we can We can print C C five D and J B five D. Now both have the length of four. Okay, both have the length of four, and we can print that. Fine, but let's read the question further. So it is saying that we have to print, we have to find the lexicographically, lexicographically minimal chart. Okay, so we have a condition that we need to find the lexicographically minimum chart. Okay, and another thing is. The bytecode management wants to show that its all branches are equally important. That's why the order of their appearance in the chart should be following. Okay, if we concatenate all the n by two chart line from top to bottom to make a single line, then uh, the lexicographically minimum line is obtained. Fine. So whatever we are printing, whatever we are printing, for example, if you print C C five D and J V five E, this is my chart. Okay, and if we concatenate it from top to bottom like this, C C five D, J V five E, so this should be lexicographically smallest. Okay, for example, if we print D D five C C and C C five J V, and if we concatenate it, it will be D D five C C, C C five J V. But D and C, which is lexicographically smaller, five is lexicographically smaller. C is lexicographically smaller, so therefore this should be printed, not this. Okay, so it simply means that we need to find the lexicographically smallest values. Okay, each and every time. The next thing is there is one more thing written. One more important line is the name of every place should be used exactly once in the chart. The name of every place should be used exactly once. So, for example, if we are using this condition, so D D five C, so now C C cannot be used again in the chart. 
okay this is valid we have cc5d and jv5e so this is one name this is another name and this is not used again in the chart anywhere so this is valid but this is not valid now we have some clarity now here in these all possibilities what we can choose if we choose d5cc now we cannot choose anyone that contains d or cc okay so only possibility that are left with us are this of the same length okay or this of the same length these two are the only possibilities that is remaining for the second one so we can write j5 uh, jv5e or we can write e5jv whichever will give me the lexicographically smallest value okay if we select cc5d here also we have choice jv5e or e5jv so which will give me lexicographically smallest value when we concatenate it so it will be cc5d jv5e and cc5d e5jv so which is lexicographically smallest that will be the answer okay so the lexicographically smallest between e and j is nothing but e so therefore the answer for this particular test case is cc5d e5jv okay these two will be printed here in the answer these two will be printed and by two lines for the first test case fine so i hope you have understood the question by now okay this is a big question so the question simply says that we need to concatenate we need to concatenate the values using a separator okay and we need to always find the min lexicographically smaller strings fine if we just whatever city names we are printing after concatenation okay if we add that also that should be lexicographically smallest okay so as simple as that for each and every value that you are writing here it should be lexicographically smallest okay now let's see some more test case so that it is clear with a smaller test cases okay so if we have 2 xx x okay and a separator is uh, exclamation mark so all the possibilities are x x exclamation x or x exclamation xx correct so these two are the possibilities so either i can write this or i can write this so whichever is lexicographically smallest i will write that okay since n is 2 so n by 2 is nothing but 1 just one string has to be printed so which is lexicographically smallest this is same in this x is nothing but greater than the exclamation sign exclamation sign in x sky values so therefore this will sorry x is less than exclamation sign in the sky values so therefore x exclamation xx will be printed in the second case when we have xx and bracket now bracket is greater than the x okay so when we have this combination okay in this case here x will win so therefore in the last case we have this as the answer okay so we always have to get the lexicographically smallest answer fine so let's now uh, see how to solve this we have a two second time limit so the brute force will work so the brute force here is very straightforward guys really straightforward okay what we can do is for each and every string we can concatenate and find which is lexicographically smallest for each and every string for example if we have this particular test case of n equals to 4 right here n equals to 4 d c c j v e and 5 okay so what we can do is first of all since we need lexicographically smallest what we can do we can simply sort the string okay so we get c c uh, d e j v and 5 is nothing but our separator now what we need we need n by 2 lines correct so and after each string we can concatenate 5 so c c 5 d 5 e5 jv5 now we can find all the possible combinations okay so what will be the all the possible combinations that we have already written above okay cc5 e5 then cc5 jv5 we can write all the possible combinations while printing we will not print the last five while printing we will not print it but we can have it okay by printing we will just print till here using the indexes that that is fine but we can have it okay now like this we can have for all the possibilities okay so we can have d5 cc5 and everything else so from this now what we can do we can simply get the required result how what will be the 
minimum uh, equal length so equal length will be nothing but the total length that we are having so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so total length is 10 okay and we need to print n by 2 lines from it so the length becomes n is nothing but 4 so 4 by 2 becomes 2 so to length becomes 5 so if from the 10 length string if, if from total a uh, 10 length string okay we need to print two lines of equal sizes then how many what is the size of that it is nothing but 5 10 by 2 is 5 so therefore i have done the, what is the total length of our total characters in our tot, uh, in in the string okay divide by n by 2 will give me what will be the length equal length because we need equal length okay so that means five length strings can be created and they both will be equal okay so all we have to do now is just concatenate after every string our edge character that we can do okay and calculate the total length so this can be done in order of n simple calculating total length is nothing but order of one then for each and every length so for each i we will run a loop j okay we will concatenate we will see c is this concatenation that is nothing but cc5 d5 is equal to the length that we calculated that is nothing but five if it is equal okay then we are going to print it because we have already sorted so it will be in lexicographical order so we will print it and then we will make these strings empty why we will make this strings empty because we should not use it again it can be used exactly once fine and then the, in the last e5 jv5 will be printed obviously we will not print this last character okay so this is how the question can be solved very easily this is just a brute force and nothing else we are sorting that is unlogging okay on for calculating this cc5 d5 e5 jv5 and the total and order of n square at the end uh, for this part that is nothing but for checking each and every string fine and if the string is of total length we will print it and we will make it null and move to the next string fine so the two loops are required at the end for that so let's uh, write the implementation for this so here i have already just done the basic things that taken the t input n input okay creating a string array now using that and taking h as the input okay here so a string array is created fine then we have a, we are taking the string array as the input and then h is taken as the input okay this can be done now we have a total variable so in total equals to zero now a loop that is running for n number of times in i equals to zero i less than n i plus plus as simple as that what we can do is array of i equal plus equals to h so that means we are concatenating the h character at the end and we are cal calculating our total area of i dot length dot length okay so this is order of n loop now simply we can calculate total total equals to nothing but total divide by n by 2 that we have seen because we need equal length strings we can sort the string our array sort array okay done so n log n order of n fine now we require two loops definitely so for int i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus for int j equals to 0 j equals to i sorry j equals to i plus 1 j less than n j plus plus that means for each and every string that we are having inside that means for each and every string that we are having uh, we are can concatenating it with the other strings and checking whether it is correct or not so if array of i dot length okay plus array of j dot length if their lengths are equal to equal to total then we are going to print it as simple as that and if it is not we are not going to print it so see out array of i okay array of j but array of j should not be printed totally we just need to print uh, the name not the last character so therefore we are using the substring function from 0 to array of j dot length minus 1 so last character will be skipped okay so we do not need to print the last character therefore i am skipping that fine and array of i equals to array of j should become null that means empty should become empty fine and finally just done the code is over we are actually printing it here only so this is the whole code so this is the basic approach for this particular question two second time limit was was given so this was not a difficult question to solve okay you just need to understand the question and after that just apply because of two second time limit it, this will be definitely accepted 
okay so for each and every string that is nothing but just we have 10 to the power of 4 strings at the max so for each and every string we are checking with the other strings whether the concatenation will give me the length equal to equal to total if thus we are printing it and we are already sorting it so therefore we will get lexicographically sorted order always okay so that is the particular question thank you